Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well guys, I have no idea how you are doing in the new year in the 2020, but my life it seems has become even more busy. You know, I had approximately two New Year's resolutions, Christmas wishes you can also call them. The first one was to rest some more and to stop working on those 24-7 because right now I literally don't go out of my house because making dolls you know, it doesn't take seven days anymore. It takes always around 14, sometimes 20 days to make one doll. And I still upload them every week Friday. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This is all the details. So the first New Year's resolution was to work a little bit less, rest a little bit more and to, I don't know really, to go out of the house and to do some other things besides of making dolls. And my second wish that completely doesn't go together with the first one was to work some more in different genres, in different medias, because, you know, lately, lately, for the last four years, I've been working just on dolls. I don't do other kinds of art because, you know, when you're done with your daily job, with your daily routine, and for me, it happens always around midnight, you know, never before 11 p.m., sometimes even at 2 o'clock at night. I simply have no energy, I simply have no power anymore, no wish anymore to take my iPad, for example, and to start drawing. But you know, when in the end of the last year, of the 2019, I've seen on Instagram that my favorite artist, really the, the most favorite artist ever, Lera Kiryakova, is going to start to give her own course on digital drawing, on making uh, cute portraits on Procreate. Of course, I immediately jumped in, even though I, I realized, I felt it, how difficult, how complicated it would be for me, not just because it would take a lot of time and I have no time to say honestly. But anyway, I really love her work so much. If you don't know Lera Kiryakova, please go check her account on Instagram. I'm going to link it down below. I swear you, you're going to fall in love instantly because she draws just the best cute cartoonish portraits out there in the world, probably. So, since I bought this machine, the iPad, last year, and since I've already started to work in Procreate, it felt like really the universe has sent me this course because I already had everything. I had an iPad, I had the basic Procreate knowledge, I had somewhat experience in this digital art, and yeah, I have somewhat experience in art and creating characters and drawing faces, stuff like this. But I just wanted to do it the same like Clara because she's just the best. I just wanted to know all her secrets. And this was the course really meant for me. The universe has sent me this course. And by the way, this is also a very good tip, a very good life hack if you suddenly want to do something but you have like no time, no energy, there is something always in between like <laughs> between you and your goal. Pay money for it, really. Pay money for it and especially take a course with a deadline. That's it, you will immediately find and time and energy because you will realize that if you just don't do it on time, you're going to waste the opportunity you even paid for. So that's why in January and in February, yeah, I used to work already probably about 20 hours per day because yes, I still kept working on my dolls the whole week, the whole day. And then after midnight, I took my iPad and I started drawing the girls with Lera, following her lessons. And that's why for the last five weeks, I went to bed around 5 a.m. <laughs> But anyway, I still managed to do all the dolls and I still managed to finish all the portraits. So, in this course we've created three portraits. You can see them now on the screen. This was the course itself. And then there also was a so-called an exam. Uh, the fourth portrait that we were supposed to make on our own, completely like 
on ourselves. You know, when I started the course, I didn't even hope and I didn't even plan to make the exam, to make my own work, to make my own final illustration. My plan was just to follow all the lessons and to finish up all the three portraits. But you know, it was so exciting drawing and procreate, creating these faces, working on all these characters that I became completely addicted and I couldn't stop and that's why for the last four days I was sitting here drawing completely non-stop so and that's why today I'm going to share with you my work in progress video I'm going to show you how I've made my last portrait the final work, the exam, the portrait that I've made completely on my own using all the knowledge that I've got on this course after drawing the three portraits with the teacher I don't know, I will probably not link this course down below because it is in Russian. I don't know, it's probably not that relevant for the most of my audience. But anyway, I'm going to link the Lera's account there in the description box under this video. And if suddenly you are a Russian speaking person, you can find the link to this course in and her Instagram. And her Instagram she runs in English and in Russian, so it would be relevant for everyone. Yeah, that's it. That was probably the information. Yeah, the last thing that I wanted to say probably that my character for this uh, final exam portrait has become Greta Thunberg. I don't know, she's just extremely bright, she's very inspiring and she also provokes emotions, you know? There are a lot of people who are fighting for ecology, who are fighting for our planet. But just because Greta is so charismatic, because so many people or hate her or really love her, and that's why she has become so popular and that's why people really listen to her and that's why her voice got hurt, let's say, because there are many voices speaking up against what is going on like with our planet, with our nature. So today we're going to draw Greta Thunberg and let's start, guys. I started with a very raw and basic sketch, just planning all the elements of my future drawing. I've spent the most time working on the jacket because I was just simply never happy with its shape. So I've tried again and again and again experimenting with different forms and shapes of the cape. But then I've just decided to start it all over because right now it looks like some winter jacket instead of a raincoat. Voila, now the jacket looks really thousand times better. Okay, I think it looks already pretty cool. And now let's draw probably still the final sketch to place all the elements on their final places. And then I can start working on it in color.
First I paint just the main blocks of color and then I start working more detailed on every part of the drawing, starting from the face. And exactly the same like when I'm working on my dolls, my main job today is placing highlights and shadows to the right places, because like this we can create quite a realistic shape and volume of the face. And the same like in working on dolls, it's extremely important to blend all these colors really nicely. And again, also the same like in repainting dolls, I'm working in layers now. God bless digital illustration. It's really pure pleasure working on iPad, working on Procreate. It's really super easy, super flexible. Extremely happy about it. I've chosen a couple of pictures to use as a reference because I want to make my drawing cartoonish but at the same time still recognizable. And just don't laugh please, I wanted to make her nose a little bit shorter, more cartoonish, to make her face more dollish, so I thought that the Queen Marjorie's nose from Game of Thrones would be just a perfect reference to follow for my cartoonish Greta nose. I work always quite for a long time on a skin and with dolls and while drawing on paper or on digital paper and I add all the time some more shadows and then some more highlights, layering them up until I'm really happy with the result. And then, when you've almost finished the face, you suddenly realize that the eyes are too big. But yeah, thank god it's really very easy to change it when you're drawing and procreate. Yeah, it would be so amazing if I would be able to adjust things also so easily on dolls. But there, all mistakes are pretty fatal, yeah. So, now I can remove the reference pictures, add some pink blush to her skin, because now she looks a bit too brown and too pale at the same time. And after this we will start working on her hair. But wait, first of all I've decided suddenly to give her some freckles, it would look really cute on her. Thank you. 
And then finally, after adjusting still some tiny details in her face, I can finally move to the hair. And really, guys, I don't know why I've made her hair so short in the beginning, because Greta has very long braids, but later I likely realized it and I've changed it. So I think the face and the hair has been almost finished and now I can move on to the hat. Okay, now let's draw the blue top and actually Greta doesn't have a top like this. She has a hoodie in the same colors, blue with white kind of ropes here on the front. Uh, but I didn't want to layer too many capes on top of each other, you know, like any cape of the raincoat and then a cape from the hoodie, it would be too much. So I've decided to remove the cape, change the design of the top, but to keep the original color scheme, the blue and the white colors. And after this I move to the coat and here I will also need the reference picture.
after this I still added some tiny details and I think I can call my illustration kind of finished. Here is my cartoonish Greta and you know guys I'm really extremely proud of her. I'm so happy I could kind of express her character, how she's looking at everyone who doesn't care about the climate. So you know, I think it's a really good result for my first series digital illustration and I swear you I'm going to continue working on it and I, I swear you it's not the last one here on my channel and in my career. So and that was my video of the week guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it today. Please write me down in the comments what you've thought about this kind of a video on my channel. Would you like to see more digital illustration here? Of course not every week, but maybe like I know once a month, every two months or something like this to keep me motivated to do digital art, not just to work on dolls. Yeah, and please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course. Subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already next week Friday, and next week we're going to repaint the doll again, and this is going to be a cool one, I promise you. So, love you guys, see you soon, bye!